Okay, so I'm going to start yet another new project with you. I have this block that I've purchased very, very cheaply. Um, and I don't particularly like it. <laughs> well, I don't hate it, but I want to make it a piece of art. So, what I'm going to do first is just go over so you can hear me with a bit of sandpaper on this background to rough it up. I'm not really particularly worried about getting rid of the writing, that'll get covered. But I do just want to give the surface a nice rough up so that it takes the paint. I'm not going to do the heart. have a towel. Oh, it's on the floor. Excuse my big head. There we go. <laughs> Just get rid of some of the dust. So, you know, sometimes you don't need to buy expensive canvases and go out and buy special blocks of wood. Just have a look around a charity shop or homeware store that sells things really cheaply and occasionally reduces things down to 50p or 10p as this was um, yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the gesso um, yeah I might just tell you what I'm gonna do and then come back when I've done it because um, it might take a while to dry and things like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gesso it. That's probably too much gesso. Never mind. And then I'm going to use the scraps of this napkin that I've been using on my shoe. And I'm going to do the background. I'm not going to do the heart. I'm going to gesso the heart. But I'm not going to put any napkin on it. So. And I am going to do down the sides. Just a little bit everything so it's got a nice surface. To work on. I have no idea where this is going to end up, but I had that napkin left over and I thought, oh, I wanted to do a plaque project on YouTube, so let's get the plaque out and get going. Probably should have sanded the sides, but never mind. Sides aren't so important, are they? Just want them to look kind of nice. There we go. Get that bit, just make sure there's not too many gloops of paint around that heart. Smooth it out all nice. I have quite a few of these, so you'll probably be seeing more projects like this. go about three <laughs> so yeah I'll be back once uh, that's dried and I've stuck my napkin down with some matte medium <clears throat> right so as you can see I've already started adding some chipboards and some buttons and a little key and these flowers and that's not really particular um, and I'm gonna put this on here but not until it's all finished because I want that to be a bit 3D so you can slip a photo in there. And I'm going to carry on adding some bits now before I just sew everything. See if I can get any more on. I don't know if anything else will fit, but we're going to have a go. Um, just to make sure that I don't put anything behind that. Okay. I'll probably use matte medium for this, but I'm just. I don't want to be swapping between glues and I'm going to need this for the heavier embellishment so I might as well use it. 
The sunshine seems to have gone. It's all raining outside today. build it up on this side a little bit because it's lower down on that side. So we want it nice and flat on one side and then a bit more on the other. That's gonna go there. I don't know if any of these words will fit in. Might be a little too big. Crazy. No. Lovely too long. Fun. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry just a little bit for a second and then I'm just going to go over this I'm shouting outside, I don't know who that is, <laughs> random neighbour. Uh, right, so we're going to just go this. colours I'm going to go for, or how I'm going to colour this. I'm thinking sort of a vintage look, because of the, the napkin that's on the bottom. 
we shall see what happens because I need to throw everything and that is a nice coat to paint on and everything should take the paint nice and evenly get into the whole thing that a bit of time to grab before I start poking at it with the brush. So now let's just use that gesso on the edges. You can get a little stick there. And sort of disappeared into the background a little bit, but never mind. You might be able to pick it out with the colour. decide whether I want to add a little bit of colour before the gesso dries or do I just want to add it on since it's dry. feel like it needs more but you don't know what it is that it needs. <laughs> there is some more tiny buttons but I haven't got any. Um, hmm. Let me just see if I have any somewhere. There we go, yeah. I had a sewing kit somewhere. So we've got some buttons. Get these back in the packet. And also, I've just been downstairs to look for this and sticking out of the letterbox was a parcel. And it had these lovely beads in it that I've ordered because just here look I had a, a pearl necklace that broke so I'm going to make it into two more um, it's a bit dark in here so lovely little flower one that bead so I'm actually going to add one of those on and yes I'm going to add the safety pin as well because why not Crazy, I know. <laughs> That's why not, because it's crazy. Uh, yeah. So, I'm just going to make a root in this. Try not to put too much of that on.
and then put them there. Okay. Um, where do I want this button? I'm kind of thinking on top of those flowers. Let's build up some nice dimension. I'm thinking that. Do I want it in there? No, that's a bit daft actually. Put down there. Hmm. I know I want it, but where? Have it there, just tucked away. No, love that. That's. I think that's pretty much there now. There we go. So I'm going to leave this to dry. I'm going to go over this with another coat actually. I can see that pattern coming through. I don't like it. Well, it's not that I don't like it, but I want it on this project. So. dry and then I'm going to come back and figure out what colours I want and how I'm going to colour it. So for you <laughs> that will just take a second. See you in a bit. Okay so let's get some colour on here. Um, I'm thinking blues and greens so what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze that little bit of blue Green. I'm gonna add, add some water. This is actually um, an offcut from a silicon sheet that I bought for our oven. <laughs> it looks great. So I'm going to just brush the top of this Yep, I'm get a big blob in there I'm literally just trying to get a little bit of colour down And get a bit of water. I'm do a little bit on here too. Because we want it to match. Look nice. Yep, I'm going to clean that brush off. And I'm just going to go in. With this tealy colour. I'm going to try and get the bits I didn't get with the blue. And this is 
really just a base layer. We're going to go on with more stuff, probably some lindies and things like that. Okay, I'm going to the frame. Wash that brush off. Oops, spray something else over there. To dry and then we'll come back in before I start flipping the next slot. Probably. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna dry it a bit with my heat tool and then I'll come back. Okay, dry. Now, as it was drying, I just added a little bit more of that cerise. Just to make the strong colour a bit stronger, I'm going to wet it again. This is kind of going to reactivate that, but never mind. I'm going to go with green next, I think. Because I want it to be predominantly blue, so just add the green first. Um, I think we're just going to go uh, from. Touch 
and then heart there, and then a little bit here, all the ones down there. Enough of the green. And then a little bit of the blue. Blue's really going. That's <laughs> really good. Ice it out a bit and then do the frame. Give me the green. A little bit on the frame. It's gone a bit darker there. Just add a bit more of this green back in because it's mixed quite a lot. Blue on this. So. There we go. I'm going to spread out the water. I don't want to get the flower. There we go. And I'm going to leave both of this to dry now. And we'll come back when that's all ready to move on. Right, so let's get this finished. I'm going to use this pin flare glue gel. 
I'm going to go around three edges of this frame. Would that be easier if I used a syringe, but I don't know where that is right now. <laughs> so, I'm not going to. Um, let's get baby wipes so we can clean up some of this excess I've got it everywhere now Pull it up just a little bit so that you can slide a photo in there or a memo or whatever you want. Get rid of the excess, nice and tidy. There we go, that's a bit better. And uh, now just to add a little bit of interest. I'm going to use this. Uh, it's a fabric glue. So I'm going to squirt it out onto my palette pad paper there. I'm going to use a dry brush. Get a little bit of this on here. And just sort of brush over lightly. Don't get too much paint on the brush. And this will just hopefully catch the edges. The three D stuff. I can use a normal um, acrylic paint, but I don't have it in silver, so that's why I'm using this. I have gold. But I don't think that would look right for this. a little bit just a little bit over that door a bit and some on the frame hmm it's just been separated a little bit so it's coming out a bit clear hmm
Hmm. I'm not sure that's working as well as I'd hoped. Blah, blah, blah. What else can we do with it? Hmm. Let's try the cognition paint. Clean out of the light. Maybe. I think that's added a little bit of highlight and interest now, so that should be that. Once all this is dry, um, just going to maybe touch up the edges, give them a bit of colour, and then I'll varnish it. And then I'm going to lift this on my Etsy page. So if you like it, head over there. I should pop the link in the description. Um, yeah. So that's that. So yeah, you should be able to fit a nice little photo in there. Stand on your table or wherever you like it. I'll put some nice photos up as well. The camera's not very good. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that and it hasn't been too long. It probably will be quite a long video this one. I haven't uh, looked at how long they are yet but uh, yeah so I'll just leave it there. <laughs> Thanks for watching again. Bye!